Do you remember your first job? I do. When I left school in 1973, instead of staying on for A levels, I took on an OND in technology course at a technical college. So between leaving school and starting the course, I needed a summer job. So my first job was a summer job at a place called Bearmax in Arnold Road. I scanned my diaries a few years ago, and as they were on Google Drive, I could just do a quick search for Bear Mac and I found this entry. I've edited it slightly because I actually wrote down my national insurance number. But anyway, June 25th, 1973. Started phoning around for jobs. Got an appointment for Bear Max at 3 o'clock. Phoned also Agfa, RACS and some other places in Wimbledon. Agfa wouldn't employ me because of Germany. RACS didn't have anything. Other places' money weren't enough. The reference to Germany was that I was doing a trip to West Germany with a woodcraft folk. Here's a picture of me with some of the other woodcraft folkers on Figs Marsh. Anyway, walked to Bearmax and saw the boss in his flash office. Got a job at £20 for a 40 hour week. Didn't tell him about Germany though. I have to think about how to get round that. So there we go, first job, first lie. What a way to start a career. Never mind. Start tomorrow. Walked back to Mitchum Court and Youth Employment Place and got cards and the NI number, which I've blanked out here obviously. And I think it said my NI deductions will be 57 pence a week. Agreed to hand 20% of my wages to my mum. So 20% is a fifth, so four pounds. Four pounds a month. The address of Bear Mac was 66 London Road, as shown here in this 1971 telephone directory entry. Although I always thought of it as Arnold Road, because that's where I went into the warehouse where I worked, on this side entrance. June 26, start work day. Left at 8.35, expecting a 15-20 minute walk. Got there early. Went into the workshop and saw a bloke who identified himself as John. We shook hands. I took cards to John, personnel manager, who introduced me to John who showed me how to pack the tie rod ends in two red boxes. The firm handles all rover car components. I've got an OK with John. He has a duff right leg and and so has little John. I, I asked if John I I asked John if it came with a job. And he replied that it didn't. Later David came in from driving around. That was handy, they weren't all called John. It was a bit disturbing. Anyway, so I didn't tell him about the Germany trip. And so the job didn't really last that very long, but that was my first job. But you might ask, what did I spend my first pay packet on? Well, I made a note, because it was my first pay packet, and I kept that note. And a few years ago I scanned it, so it's on my Google Drive now. Monday, 2nd of July, 1973. Bus to work, three pence. What a lazy person. That was from the Swan to Tooting Station. Anyway, Denim Flares, £2.95. Flares. Yes, all the rage then, I guess. Bus, three pence. Lager and lime, eight pence. Bearing in mind, I'm 16. Cream soda, ten pence. They are, see? Cream soda was more expensive than lager and lime. Bus, three pence. So there's a there's an extra bus journey here. Did I get the bus into Tooting from Tooting Station to buy the flares? Probably. Anyway, that all added up £3.22 pence. 57 pence went to national insurance and four pound went to mum. Oh, 12 pound left over. Not a bad way to start off. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> and then in September, I went to Merton Technical College and here's a team photo of all the students and lecturers. And I, my hair was way too long. But there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Press the like button if you like it. If you like the video, press the like button. If you didn't like the idea of going to work, if you didn't like the idea of a first job, don't go and press the dislike button because they, leave a comment. <laughs> leave a comment if you can. But oh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, bye for now.